Welcome back to another <laughs> video. Um, today we're going to be talking about gen. Sorry, not gender. We're going to be talking about race in sports now. Just like gender, it's a very highly requested topic here. Um, and I think people only look at it from their respective side. So whether you're a person, a minority, or not, um, they kind of just look at it from their side. Um, but you know, the relationship between race and sports is very multifaceted. It's been a subject for decades. People have studied it. Um, I'm pretty sure as long as sports have been around, um, that's been a topic. Um, it's also been a platform, you know, where people can express the different types of racial dynamics that's going on, both positive and negative, of course. Um, so let's, let's, let's take another dive into it, all right? So the first thing I'm going to talk about is representation. Now, historically, there's certain types of sports that are dominated by a certain demographic. Um, <clears throat> Football and basketball dominated by predominantly African American. Um, I wouldn't say golf, but I'm starting to see a lot more of a uh, minority in golf. So, but golf used to be one. Swimming, um, hockey, hockey is a, is, a, is a big one. You don't see many uh, as in hockey and the African Americans. Um, and, you know, people feel some type of way about that. Oh, why is a certain demographic? Um, you know, some people are just blessed to play different sports better than others. Um, you know, you always get that rare one or two that stand out. Um, but, you know, it's very, very important just to know that there's the fact that every race gets to get represented in sports. It's just absolutely amazing. Um, I think it also helps engage the fans. Um, you know, it helps. um kids dreams you know when they see someone that looks like them acts like them talks like them does some of the things that they do living out their dream it makes them want to go live out that dream um and it helps drive them to become a better person um there has been a lot of inequality so you know there has been athletes that's faced all types of things i think muhammad ali is a great example you know when he was um, fighting, you know, his stance against the Vietnam War. Colin Kaepernick is a huge one for for most of the people um, that would be listening to this. Um, it's just amazing how one person decided to do one action and it changed the course of the world. He decided to take a knee during the national anthem to take a stand on police brutality and help push the narrative that we need to be more aware. We need to pay attention to this specific um, thing that's going on, and we need to shine a light and get fixed. Um, and then, you know, there's um, George Floyd, uh, Brianna, um, there were some things that happened that after that prompted more people to <coughs> take a knee. Um, but yeah, it's. Um, is definitely a, a, can have a negative thing, but I want to focus more on the positive. I'm going to talk more about growing up and the structure. Um, sports um, is a great way to have structure in your life growing up. As a kid, you get out of school, you have practice, games. You know, it gives you a sense of structure. It gives you a sense of purpose. Um, it, it drives that that attitude that, oh, I want to accomplish this. I want to accomplish that. Um, not saying that playing sports doesn't, um, but I definitely think it helps. Because, um, you know, when you have AAU, seven-on-seven -seven tournaments for football, all these other things, um, it just helps build the person up. And I think that uh, as long as different races are allowed to participate in different amounts of sports together, I think um, it could help make the world a better place.